Hi, I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to be looking at clips in the FL Studio playlist. So in the playlist uh, in FL Studio, there's diff various different types of clips. You've got audio, you've got patterns, you and you've got automations. Uh, and they all have slightly different functions. Um, so just to get into it quickly with this pattern, um, you can see here we've got this synth instrument here. I'm just going to solo it so you can hear it. So it's quite like a drifty synth sound that I've got. Um, so relating to the uh, the clip types, so you can see as I click on it, uh, at the top left side here, it highlights uh, the type of clip that it is. So if I click on this audio clip just above it, uh, it changes, the list on the side changes uh, to my audio clips available. So you can quickly browse between the types of clips that you've got. Also, if I click on automation, there's all the different types of automation I've got in this playlist. So you can quickly um, flip between them like that. Uh, with a pattern clip that, that I've got selected here, you can uh, make this unique uh, just by, so you create a new instance of it if you wanted to add a variation to that melody. So for instance, uh, on this round, on the second round of it, let's just change a note on it so you can see what I mean. So in the playlist, uh, in the piano roll, I'm just going to edit this note, maybe push it up a couple of semitones, so that as in the arrangement it goes round, it changes, and now I've got a, uh, this pattern 13 still repeats in every instance that it originally was, but this new instance now occurs here. So I could do that, I could create another instance I could make unique. So it, 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 you can quickly adjust the melody of your patterns on the fly. So furthermore, on the patterns, you can adjust the length of the clips here, so you can uh, m maybe make a loop of the first half of this clip, so you can click it and you can then repeat that and that would then repeat the first half of this clip. Or then if you wanted to, actually I decided that I preferred the whole melody, you can just stretch it out again and all that information is still saved there. Next, what we're going to look at is chopping the audio in the playlist uh, for the audio clips. So to do that, come in here, uh, open up the chop menu here, and we're going to have a look at the different options we've got. So you can do a repeating option. So for this tambourine loop that I've got, we can basically repeat it from that to now repeating. Uh, you can also experiment with some different options. There's some more complex uh, beat shuffle and stutter effects. So we're creating a new groove out of this loop quite easily. Let's have a look at one more. Maybe this beat shuffle. It's not really doing too much on this shaker, but you can experiment with different types of audio that you've got. So maybe throw in a vocal in there and chop it up and see how it comes out, get some interesting results. Uh, saves you the trouble of having to go in and cut and trim every single individual part and create a new loop. So you can experiment and see what works quite quickly and easily. Uh, the, the third type of clip in FL is going to be the uh, automation clip. So just to quickly create an automation clip in here, you can just put one on the volume here as I've done. Um, so, sorry. And so, um, yeah, so you can see now the volume is going down as I reduce the point here. So you can right click on an automation clip to add a point anywhere you want uh, and just delete them with undo. Or you can right click and delete each of the points individually. So just a quick tip on uh, deleting uh, points in the uh, automation clip. If you right click and press D, it just deletes the point instantly, which is a handy, handy tip to know. So just to summarize then, all the uh, different clips live inside the playlist. So we've got our audio automation and our MIDI clips. They all reside in the playlist. It's a very important uh, point to note. Uh, there's no kind of sub menus for automation. There's no diving in. It all kind of just sits within the playlist. So everything is accessed uh, quite easily. OK, so in this video, we've covered how the different uh, clips work. We've looked at the MIDI clips and how you can uh, change the length of those and make them unique to add variation. We've looked at audio and how you can do things like chopping and cutting the audio on the playlist itself. We've had a quick look at the automation clips in FL Studio.